Hey there, yogi. Welcome to your yoga practice. Let's begin at the front of the mat. Bring your big toes together to touch if that feels all right for you, or separate your feet as far as you need to go so that you don't feel wobbly and so that your legs feel comfortable. Lift the toes, spread them apart and grip them down into the mat. Bring your weight back towards your heels just a little bit so you can feel your tailbone lengthen down and your pelvis come into neutral. Arms by the sides, lift the ribs, relax the shoulders, reach through the back of the crown of the head here in your Tadasana or mountain pose. Begin to breathe. Take a couple cleansing breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> letting go of anything you walked into this space with today, just letting it go just for the next few moments, really focusing on you, on your body, your emotions, your mind, and being present in this moment. Beautiful. As you inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, lean to your right, hips to the left. Good. Inhale, come up. Exhale, reach to your left, hips to your right. Inhale, come up. Exhale, arms down. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Big shoulder roll. Reach the arms away from the body as you keep the chest lifted and the chin pulled back in space. Opening the chest. Good, take cleansing breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, anytime it would feel good. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, lean to your right, hips to the left. Good, inhale up. Exhale, lean to the other side. Inhale, come up. Exhale, arms behind the back. Interlace your fingers in your non-dominant way. <laughs> Big shoulder roll, lift your ribs. Pull the arms away from the back. Breathe here. Just letting everything go. Being present. Could use the affirmation, I am present. Release. Do a couple shoulder rolls. Just loosening up the body. Good job. From here, take a wide stance. You can bring your hands to your hips. Separate your feet. And bring your arms out to your sides in a T, point the fingers down. Now continue separating the feet until the outside edges of the feet are right below the fingertips. Hands to your hips. Turn your right foot out and then bend the right knee. Now here your right heel's in line with the arch of the back foot. Pelvis is level. Keep this knee pointing directly over the toes. Arms up, relax the shoulders and gaze out through the right middle finger. I am present. Breathe. Good, nice deep breaths. Breathing in as far as you can go comfortably, expanding your ribs. Exhaling as far as you can go comfortably. Softening, letting the outer body relax, letting go of tension. Good. Now inhale, straighten the right leg, but don't lock it, so squeeze the quad. Exhale, reach out over the right leg. Bring your right hand either above or below the shin, left hand up. Twist the belly button open towards me, both shoulders stacked over the bottom leg. You can also back out of it slightly by bringing your hand to your hip. Breathing here. Both shoulders directly over the bottom leg. If you're a little wobbly, no problem, just look down. Good, slowly come up from your triangle pose, relax the arms down. Turn the right foot in, left foot out. Bend the left knee, make sure it's not going past the ankle. Level the pelvis, knee points in the same direction as the toes, arms up, relax your shoulders. Virabhadrasana two, breathe here. I am present. Good. Straighten the left leg as you inhale. Exhale, reach the left hand out. Left hand either above or below the knee. Twist the belly button open, shoulder stack over the bottom leg. Left hand only goes as far down the leg as you can go without this top shoulder rolling in. Breathe here. Look down if you're wobbly or sideways or up to challenge your balance. Find a gazing point, somewhere to stare to help your mind focus and keep your balance. Good. 
ground down into the base of the front big toe, slowly come up, relax the arms down, bring your hands to your hips, turn the left foot in. So now the outside edges of the feet are parallel to the short side of your mat. Okay, hands to your hips, big shoulder roll, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, bring your hands to your shins or the floor. Inhale, reach the crown of the head forward, lengthening the spine, and then exhale, fold. Hands can come down towards the ground. It's okay if they don't touch. If your hamstrings are a little crabby, bend your knees. Here, you want you to feel as if your tailbone's pointing up. Make sure not to cave into the ankle, so push into the outside edges of the feet and breathe. Prasarita Padatanasana. Good. And come halfway up. Hands can be on your shins. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hands to your hips. Bend your knees slightly as you inhale, rise up. Exhale, circle your hands together at heart center. Breathe here. Come back to your affirmation. Awesome. Start to heel toe your feet towards each other, making your way back into your mountain pose. You can come up to the front of the mat. Breathing here, again, pretending like that string's attached to the back of the crown of the head, pulling you up to lengthen your spine. Breathe. Good, so now we're gonna move from, we're gonna go from warrior one, we're gonna go to warrior one, and then go into tree, okay? So you can bring your hands to your hips, bend your knees, step back with your left foot. Okay, so this is gonna really depend on just how open your legs are and maybe how long you've been practicing, that might have something to do with it. But here your feet are like they're on train tracks. You want your back heel down. If it keeps lifting, take a shorter stance. Okay, so otherwise you can bring the foot back as far as you can go without the heel lifting and without the booty popping out. That'll compress the low back. So navel towards the spine. Again, feet are like they're on train tracks, back left toes, point towards the front left corner of the mat. Arms can come up, wrap the shoulders like you're trying to close the armpits and breathe here. Virabhadrasana on one, weights right in the middle of both feet, front knee is not going past the ankle. Good, bring your hands to your hips, Hinge forward, and then from here, we're gonna go right into tree. So start to bring your back foot forward and let the left knee turn out to the side. Okay, so you can have your toes down like a kickstand or start to slide the foot up the calf or bypass the knee and come all the way up to the inner thigh, yogi's choice. Arms up, wrap the shoulders. Maybe bring your palms to touch if that feels good. Find your drishti, your gazing point. That's really important, especially here in the balancing poses. Virkshasana, tree. <sighs> Good, really, walk it out. Other side, Virabhadrasana one into Virkshasana, tree. From here, step back with your right foot. So it'll be about four to five feet. It just kind of depends. Feet are like they're on train tracks. Back right toes point towards the front right corner of the mat. Left knee's bent towards 90 degrees. It's not going past the ankle. Navel towards the spine if you feel compression in the low back or if your back heel's lifting, take a shorter stance. Arms up, wrap the shoulders. Anytime the arms are up, the palms can touch. This can help to balance out any inequalities or unevenness in the sides of the body. Are you breathing? I am present. Hands to your hips, hinge forward. Start to bring all the weight onto the right foot as you turn your, or sorry, the left foot as you turn your right knee out to the side. Arms up, wrap the shoulders, palms can touch, tree, breathe. Find your gazing point. If you fall out of it, notice your self-talk. Remember to practice ahimsa or non-violence. It's a yogic principle. Practice it within yourself first. Really walk it out. Very good. Coming back to your mountain pose, find a gazing point. 
Circle your hands together in front of your heart. Close your eyes if that feels okay. Take a couple cleansing breaths. Thank yourself for committing to your practice today and to your well being. Namaste. Hey there, Yogi. You did an amazing job today. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Did you know that this video is actually part of a five part series of videos designed to support you in incorporating yoga and its philosophy seamlessly and easily into your everyday life? All you have to do is click on the link in the description to get access to not only the videos, but also the supporting daily emails to help keep you on track. I'd love to continue supporting you in your yoga journey through this free training. I know how transformative yoga and its philosophy has been in my life, and I know it can be that same thing for you. Have an amazing day, yogi. Namaste.